For me personally, Cosmos is the most exciting place to build. Uh, everything from the customizability of the Cosmos SDK to the permissionless nature of IBC. You can really create your own journey, create your own vision, and really execute on that in a pretty uh, reliable and, and straightforward way. Noble is a Cosmos project. We uh, built Noble with a very explicit purpose, which is to bring native assets into the ecosystem. For a lot of asset issuers that come into the Cosmos ecosystem, they have a very tough time sort of looking at the different trade-offs with different chains. And Noble, uh, from that perspective, really was that singular kind of place for an issuer like Circle to kind of come in and uh, ultimately get access to this incredible, vibrant ecosystem of many chains. The Cosmos SDK is a really powerful toolkit for uh, building applications. Um, so Noble, of course, as a Cosmos chain, runs on Tendermint consensus and is uh, interoperable with IBC. Uh, the Cosmos SDK itself allows us to do things like build uh, modules for minting, burning of, of native assets uh, in a way that's really straightforward for both the asset issuers and the app chains where those assets uh, eventually migrate to. Those building in the Cosmos uh, value sovereignty over anything else. Uh, what sovereignty means is having total uh, control over your infrastructure, choosing your validator set, uh, optimizing on the consensus uh, level, and of course, when it comes to the Cosmos SDK, it is uh, building the right modules and leveraging the right modules that make sense for your application. Um, we chose the Cosmos SDK because it was simply the best option for bringing USDC um, into kind of the Cosmos and the interchain ecosystems. When deploying your own Cosmos SDK-based chain, it just gives you full, complete flexibility around minting. Um, so we have a token factory uh, that mints uh, USDC. And, you know, we just had full flexibility with direct access to like the bank module, which is like the ledger of the actual blockchain itself. Um, we were able to build really cool and like custom IBC middleware components as well that allow for very, um, you know, critical uh, kind of components of USDC where, you know, you, like, like if needed, there's like a blacklist or a pausing effect um, on IBC directly. Right now, the Cosmos uh, ecosystem is growing in developer mindshare. We're continuing to expand and, and attract projects from uh, pro ecosystems like Ethereum uh, because they realize building an app chain um, is a really powerful way to kind of build your vision for the future and how that uh, vision should evolve. The SDK, uh, again, as a powerful toolkit, really allows these projects to bootstrap um, quickly, securely, uh, and in a very interoperable and, and customizable way. So since we launched in September of 2023, we've actually issued over $200 million of native USDC. Uh, this is actually the fastest growing uh, USDC issuance in all of crypto, um, and we're just super excited to be this provider of, of liquidity and growth for the rest of the Cosmos ecosystem. Really, at the end of the day, we just want to build things that everyday people use, whether that is payments, uh, stable coins to buy a cup of coffee, or uh, interact with uh, NFTs, or even trade on, on a DEX like Osmosis. And so building in this very collaborative, very uh, open source environment um, is just a, a very fulfilling uh, way to build.